let's start with this one here. Milani Prime Light. This is a... I do want to show you. Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. Well today I am here to do my project pan update for you guys. <laughs> yes, I didn't come in February and I'm gonna explain that here in a little bit. If you haven't seen the intro, I'll go ahead and put a link here for the intro. And then as I was using the products, I ended up swapping some things out and adding some things in as well. So I ended up doing an amendment. So I'll put that link here for you guys so you guys can get a better idea of everything that I have in this project because I'm not gonna be showing you all of the products in this video. I'm not, there's just not enough uh, for me to do a comparison and anything like that, but I'm gonna talk about what I kinda wanna do coming forward, okay? So I am gonna be adding some more things and I'm gonna show you those things at the end, but as far as that goes in terms of adding any more, that's it, okay? I'm not gonna be adding anything, this is it. Now, the other thing I was thinking about is some of these products I do feel like I'm gonna be able to use up pretty quickly. If I keep going <laughs> pretty quickly, I'll be able to use them up. So as I use things up, other, th other things will replace it if it's replaceable, okay? And I'll bring those things in. Again, I'm not gonna show you everything, but I will have a lot to say in this video. So it might be kind of long because I do want to explain a couple things, but I'm not going to show you too, too much. Right. Okay. So what happened guys, I didn't come in February because I really was challenged at the beginning of the year. I fell in January, January 3rd. I actually, or second, I fell down the stairs and um, it really knocked me out guys. It really, really did. I was not even able to drive uh, for the first half of January. I wasn't able to drive. The fact that I am still hurting uh, says a lot on how I fell. <laughs> For real, uh, it was pretty bad. Uh, then the other thing is once I, you know, once I started driving and like I said, was able to do things better, I ended up getting the Rona uh, around the 28th of January. So from like, I would say the end of January to probably coming into mid-February, not mid-February, but you know, like the 7th, 8th of February, I started feeling better because it really, it uh, really fatigued me, you know, having the Rona this time around really fatigued me. So I wasn't putting on a lot of makeup is what I'm saying. I would here and there. Uh, I still was doing my palette bingo. Uh, if you want to know what my palette bingo is, I'll put a link here. Um, but that's why I didn't come in February. All right, guys, let's get going because I do have a lot to say. There are going to be some products that I want. There are two products that I'm going to talk to you at the end. I do not really care for them, but then I have one product that is just really, really, really standing out to me and, and I fell in love with it all over again and I just absolutely love it. So let's go ahead and start with the first item, Milani Prime Light. This is a face primer and it's a strobing primer and it also claims that it's a pore filling primer. I will say that I um, don't see the whole pore filling. I really, really don't. There's other primers that absolutely do do that. I don't see this doing that. I do think that I've done some good damage to this and I don't foresee this being in my collection or in this challenge for very, very long. I still have a little bit to go, but not very, very long. So there is that. Let's talk about e.l.f. Contour Palette. It looks like that. And there is that. Now, if you see an X in any of these pads, like the shadows, if you see an X, it's because it was used up prior to the challenge, okay? Prior to the year. Once I use this, you'll see a check mark, okay? So if you see an X, that means it has nothing to do with this challenge. It was already used up. All right, so let's talk about this. This bronzer right there, I, I, eh, it's a little too much on the orangey yellow for me. Um, so there's that. I have been using this one, and if you see, there's like like scratching on there. What I do is because I use this, this one here as a setting powder sometimes, it does have some shimmer, but I do use it sometimes as a setting powder a little bit like on the T-zone or here. And I typically, when I use setting powder, I'll use a sponge. Oh, I left mine in the bathroom. A wet sponge and I pick up the powder with it and then I go like that because I have scarring that's the technique I do when I set my face um, and I don't want to put the wet sponge on here 
because then this is going to be very hard and, and it's going to ruin it. So what I do is I take a spoolie. This is why it's kind of powdery looking. And I just, um, let me see, scrape like that and I loosen it up. I loosen it up. And then I take the, the, the wet sponge and I just lightly just pick it up. I don't, I don't go in like that. I just go pick it up. Then I put it on my face. Um, that's why there's, there's, <laughs> there's markings. That is how that is looking. Um, this one here, I'm going to tell you, I'm having difficulty on how to use that. I, I, I'm not even sure if that's going to be even something that I can use. You guys can let me know how do you use that. Is that like for setting underneath the eyes or something? I don't know. Or is it, is it a light, is it a light contour? I don't know. Let me know, guys, if you guys have this. Let me know how you guys use that. So there's that, guys. There's that one. Okay, moving along. I just wanted to explain that. The other one I have is a Smashbox. Um, this is the another contour kit. This one here is my absolute favorite. This is not something that I'm going to be very happy when it goes. <laughs> Let me give you a comparison shot. So there you go. Again, this one, I'm not sure if I'll be able to use this one. I, I don't know. I love this as a contour. It's nice. It, it's it's nice. Um, but um, yeah, there you go. And I've used it a couple of times. So there's that. Okay, the other one is the Laura Geller one. And this is the, I think it says Shades of Moth. I think that's what it says. But basically you have your blushes and then you have your highlighter. And um, I don't know if you can see there. I'll give you a comparison. I don't know if that's going to be very, very noticeable. Um, I'm not sure. But I absolutely love this. Uh, yeah, you can see a divot here. I don't know if that's coming up. But it feels... I know I use this all the time like silk. But it really is one of those things that you put on and you're going to get a glow from within. It just sort of kind of goes into your skin. It, it's not sitting on top of your skin. So. I don't, I, I foresee this one um, being used fairly quickly. All right, so now we're gonna talk about liners, uh, lip liners and eyeliners. This liner here is from NYX. I do believe it's called Ever, I think. Uh, this is the one that I keep gravitating to a lot. And I will try and give you a comparison there. Uh, may not be a big of comparison, but nevertheless, uh, this is the one that I keep pulling out and um, I need to need to use the other ones a little bit more. As far as liners, this is one that I keep pulling out. This is from Pixie and I don't know the color of it, guys, but I love this. I've used this in a lot of my looks. Um, it's a sagey green with gold flexing in there. Really, really love it. So here is comparison for that one. The other ones that I use a lot is this plum one from X X X. This plum one from NYX. Uh, I this is something that I do pull out a lot because it looks a little. Oh god, that is so beautiful. But it does. Um, it's an alternative to black if you don't always want to use the black, and it won't like come off like that. You know what I mean? It, it it's nice. So here's the comparison. All right, and then the other one is also from um, It Cosmetics, and this is just in black. Um, I use this a lot. Oh, it looks like green, but it's black. <laughs> there you go. It does look kind of sage green too. I don't know, but anyway, it is black. And I do use this a lot. So there's that. Those are the only ones that I think may share a uh, show a, a significant difference or some of a difference. Okay, so now for like my cheeks, other than uh, other than this palette that I did share with you, the other one that I want to talk about is this one from Well People, and this is an apricot. I use this all the time, all the time, and I don't know. Let's see the comparison. Um, 
and this is an all over uh, product. You can, it says it's an all over product. You can use it on your eyes. You can use it. Oh, this is so gorgeous. And I just, I put it on my cheeks, but this is one that I keeps getting used and pulled all the time. All right, as far as your base shadows and things like that, I have this one here from Bobbi Brown. And I don't, oh, Truffle. Bobbi Brown, this is Truffle. I've been using this a lot. This is more of a champagne color. Oh, no, 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 no. Look what I just did. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. <sighs> anyway, there's that. It's beautiful. And I just put it on the uh, movable part of my lid. God, I can't believe I did that. Anyways, let's do a comparison. I can't believe I did that. It's not going to be very realistic. Oh, okay. Ooh, I got a phone call and I don't know where I left off because this has been like an hour later since you <laughs> since I've been on here. For you, it hasn't been much, but for me, it's been an hour. Okay. I think I was ready to talk about the Bobby Brown, I believe. So this is the Bobby Brown in Truffle. Yes, I cut the thing. So the, comp yeah, that's what it was. Okay. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. Anyway, it, 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 yeah, here's the comparison. Unfortunately, I did break the tip of that, you know, right now. So, yeah. But this is something that I've been using pretty much every time I put shadow and I like it. Uh, it is a champagne kind of color, but it doesn't, you know, it just, I feel like it helps some of the shadows uh, adhere to this. And you can actually wear this on your own if you'd like. Been using that up quite a bit. All right, so let's go into the uh, shadows, the palettes that I have. Tartius Pro Remix. Let's talk about this one real quickly. I've only used it twice so far, and I realize when it comes to this particular palette, it's not going to be one of those palettes that I'm even going to get through. I'm not going to be able to touch pan, let alone get through it is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not. But I want to see what I can do with it because I really, really do love this palette. It's very much a lot of shimmer shades, a few, maybe two mattes in here. But other than that, they're all pretty much shimmer, dual chrome, maybe even some foil ones. Just don't use a lot of. Now, this is an X because I've already used that before. Um, so it has nothing to do with this challenge. But this one here and this one here are matte. I probably could do something with this one. Get that one. Um, maybe hit pan on that. But that would be my goal. Now, some of these are pretty close to um, hitting pan. And they're very, very creamy shadows. So they're, they're those types of shadows that you use a little bit and they're so creamy that um, you use a lot of product kind of thing, you know what I mean? So anyway, that's gonna be my goal for that one. Okay, the other one that I have, let's talk about these two. Stila, uh, this is a very recent purchase for me. Let me show you the comparison to that one. I will say from this one, I have some notes. This one here, I believe it's this one here. Hold on, hold on a minute, guys. Okay, this one here, right there. I hit pan. I hit pan, right there, you can see it. Um, and that's something that's new. So here's a comparison shot. Okay, so we're getting through that. Um, I haven't been picking this one up as much, I will tell you that, because what I pick up more is this one. <laughs> I do. Uh, with this one though, I don't have anything to report other than a comparison shot for you guys. I think this one right here is getting used up pretty good. Um, but there is no, yeah, this is how it looks. Now this has been in a project pan before, a lot of these shadows. Uh, I kind of want to call this, I think uh, the title says the head start <laughs> project pan. And that's because a lot of these shadows had a head start to them and that's why I picked them. Um, I would like to see this one hit pan all over by the end. Uh, if not use up a lot of the shadows from here, I would like. Now the last three that I have, let's go with cargo real quickly. Um, I have used one of the palettes and I don't think there's anything else from this one. Yeah. So I did finish this one completely. So this one has a check mark because it pertains to this challenge. This one was from the last time, but there it is. Let's see, go this way a little bit. I will say what I started doing with this one is this one here. I actually started using that like a highlight. <laughs> 
<laughs> for my highlighting right here. Um, it is champagne. It is like a champagne kind of color. Uh, more more of that, but I don't care. It's a gold, well, goldy, champagne-y kind of color. And so, but uh, I've been doing that with that shadow. And I think that's a good way to try to use that up. And this, by the way, is a cargo, I forgot to mention, cargo vintage escape um, palette. I'm sorry. But there you go. We're doing really good with that. Now with this one, this will be the last year that this palette stays with me. So my goal with this one is to get through all of the shadows. That would be very, very nice when it comes to this one. The other one that's the same, it's not going to be in the, my collection after this year. So I would love to get it all used up. This is the Modern Renaissance from Anastasia. Uh, now this one, we will have a shadow for you. Cypress Umber. Okay, so Cypress Umber was hit pan. And that is this one. I just hit pan on that one. Uh, this one was from last time. There you go. My goal for this one is to definitely get it all used up. Okay, the other one that I want to uh, use up and after this year it will no longer be in my collection is this one from Physicians Formula Canyon Classic. Now you know this one's an oldie. <laughs> you know it is, but let me show you. This has been in many project pans um, that I've done, but there you go. Um, finally hit pan on that one right there. Hit pan. I think this one has a really strong chance of being used up by the end of the year. I really do. Just because look at the shadows. I mean, we're, we're a big head start on this one. So those are all of the shadows uh, that the updates on that. Now, let's go ahead and talk about um, the two that I don't really care for. If you guys saw the intro, maybe I alluded to it. Let's talk about the first one. Elf. <laughs> Elf. This is the Elf poreless putty a primer i love the concept i'm all about the concept i really really do uh, let me give you the comparison first i definitely uh hit pan uh, definitely big time on that okay the next item that is can't get out of my collection fast enough you know it's it's taking its time and you don't i don't use a lot of it of it, it's the Laura Geller uh, Filter First Foundation. These two together are, are not good. This will break this up. And then this on its own is not good because this is in beige, I believe, and it oxidizes tremendously, tremendously. I do have it on today, but I have to mix it. I always have to mix it. Anyway, there's that. Now, the star of the show, <laughs> the one that I love. I absolutely love this product. I don't know if you can get this, guys, but... It's the Bare Minerals uh, uh, Glow Highlighter. Let me show you guys. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this thing. So what I do is I pour it in my, I do that, okay, and then I get my, be my beauty blender and then I put it. But you can mix this in your foundation if you want. Look at that. You can mix it in your foundation, and I have mixed it in with this one. Or you could put it on your own. Um, you could put it as a blush, um, um, highlighter, whatever. However, it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I don't think you can see it good. Hold on. Let me, whoa, let's go. Let me give you a good, good, good amount. Look at that. Do you see that? A glow within. That's what that is. A glow within. Now what I had to do, because I did use it today. So before I used it, I marked it because it takes a while for it to settle down. And because the glass is frosty, you can't really see the line. So I'll, I'll tell you where it's at. It's right there. Exactly right there. Now ignore that top one. The, I accidentally hit it, but it's right there. So that's where it's at. Okay. And that's how I'm going to mark this one because the picture that I have, you can't even see the shadow of where, you know what I mean? Like where it's at. So this is how we're going to do it. So before I, I used it today, Everything was settled and you can see the, the mark. And so I marked it. So this has been an absolute amazing, amazing, amazing um, item. Let's I go ahead it. and talk about what's coming in really, really quickly. I have already taken some pictures, so you will have that. Okay, I found this. I want a giveaway from Dee Dee here. Uh, and I knew she had given me a liner. 
Uh, I knew it and I couldn't find it. And I even looked at the video that I did showing you the giveaway and I saw it and I said, where is it? And I couldn't find, I found it. It was stuck between this cabinet here and the, my makeup table stuck in between. Anyway, it's a Lori Geller. Um, this is in green river. Uh, again, I've already taken pictures, so I'll just kind of show you where it's at. So just to give you an idea where it's at. Okay. Uh, let me show you, I'll give you a swatch. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful green, a very uh, true green, you know, when you, it's not a sage green, not a, you know, it's just a true, true, true green. Okay. The other thing is this Mac uh, prep and prime. Love it. This is like my second one. Um, show you where that's at really, really quickly. Um, again, I, I, when I brought it in, I did take the original picture. Okay. So I'll give you an update on the next one, but this is coming in. Okay. Lipsticks. Let's talk about the lipsticks that are coming in. I'm going to go ahead and bring this Becca one in this one here. <laughs> I think it's going to be perfect for the spring. It's more of a bomb than a gloss. It's a bomb. Um, look at that. Oh, it, I think it's so pretty. And I think that this is something that I'll definitely be able to use because I also put this on top of matte lipsticks. Speaking of which the Anastasia, this is in Sedona. I did a video where I used it. Um, this is coming in now. This one is matte, but it doesn't necessarily act like a matte. In other words, there's moisture in this one, more like a satin, even though it does say matte. But I do like to put these on top. Don't have to with this one, but sometimes I do like to do it like that. So there's this one coming in. This is from Revolution. Now this is an old one, okay? I probably should chuck it, I know. This is an old one. I wanted in a giveaway for my friend in the UK uh, years ago. And this is in Chauffeur. And it's a mat, but it's one of those mats that's not that bad. I have it on today, actually. This is really, really nice. I like it and uh, it doesn't smell. It didn't burn my lips or anything. <laughs> so I did test it out, uh, but it is an older one. Uh, admittedly it is um, nude, but I like it. I like it. I know kind of washes me out. And then I put a, I put a gloss on top this one. I put on top. Um, yeah, this one is on its way out, but I like it. I don't know. I know it's not, it's not what is showing here. It's not, not in my opinion, maybe it is, but in my opinion, it's not, it really goes on very nude, but I like it, especially if I have a darker eye look, I like that. So those are coming in and uh, I don't know if I showed you how much I had in this one. I don't have a lot. I don't, I don't have a lot. Again, I've already taken pictures. Okay. So that is everything. And I'm not, I'm not adding any more to this. That is it. That is everything that's going to be here. Again, once I use something up, I will bring in a replacement for it so we can keep flowing. But anyways, my friends, that is it. I know, I know it's long. I know it's a long video and I want to thank you for bearing with me. Hopefully as things go along, um, they won't be this long. That can just come just with the things that I need to talk about. Okay. My friends, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next month for the update. Okay, take care. Bye.